This is Leah with Backyard Homestead in Starkville, Mississippi, and I wanted to give you guys an update on the plantings we did the other day. And I had a lot of questions about if we had problems with weeds because we used the hay and the grass clippings and weren't we just sowing weed seed. Well, it's been, this is the 14th day since we planted, and I wanted to show you how well the peas are up. We have a good stand of peas all the way down the row, and we have done nothing at all to this area since we planted. And I want to show you, we have some weeds come up, like there's some little grass. And there's a little bit of grass there. And there's some Virginia button weed. So we have a little bit of weeds that come up, but as you can see, they are almost solely in the areas where we disturb the soil. That's why we try to disturb the soil as little as possible. All these weeds are coming up in the areas where we, turned the, where we turned the dirt over, where we had to mess with it. And um, so what we'll do is we'll come back now. I mean, we left a good layer of hay and grass clippings here because we intended just to be able to rake this in beside the peas. But we've had rain here every day since we planted almost. And so it's matted all this down. And it's a good, nice matted layer of the grass and the hay. So we're just gonna leave it. And we're gonna come back with additional hay. I've got some down there in the wheelbarrow. And we're just going to put more hay around these plants. And we put the hay thick enough where it just chokes out the grass. We're not even go back and pull this little stuff. We just put hay over it. And if any of it makes its way through, we might pull that if it comes through the hay. And if not, it should the hay should have matted down a little bit more. And we'll add more hay. We constantly add grass clippings, hay, chopped leaves, mulched items out of the garden. Whatever we get our hands on that's organic, we will just mulch with it. But I wanted to show you that in the 14 days, this little bit of weeds is just what's come up. And you see how tall the plants are? And this is all we've had come up. So it's not, it's not sowing the garden with grass seed when you use hay and grass unless you till it in. And that's when you have your problems. So if we took the tiller and went back and tilled all this stuff in, it would be a weed field in a week. Let me show you. Here's one little weed that made through grass and it look how easily it comes up I mean it's just right there right there in the top and I will pull them if they come out in the middle there's one one other little weed sometimes you know if it's big I'll pull it but if it's not I'll just put more hay on top of it here's another one little one coming up on the edge of this where we had to disturb the soil just pull him out now I'm gonna go back we have oak trees coming up because acorns fall all over this place because of all our trees but I'm gonna go back now and just hay over this whole area Okay, so this is one row completely mulched. Got a good thick layer of hay around it. And this is the row that I haven't mulched yet, so you can kind of see the difference. And I'll do the exact same thing with this row. Just go down and pile the hay up thick around all the plants, up and down the, in between, the area between the two rows and on either side, and just have a good thick layer of hay. And this will help, this will keep the weeds down, help build healthy soil, and it doesn't, cause weeds to grow. It doesn't spread grass seed, hay seed, unless you till it in. And that's the key point. You can't go back and till this in, or it will. You'll just be planting the grass seed. But if you leave it alone and use it as mulch, then it, it works great. I'm going to go ahead and mulch this row. Hey, this is 
both rows now completely finished. We've mulched both the rows of peas good and heavy with the hay. And this is the row of butter beans, our um, bush butter beans that we planted in front of the green beans. I'm not going to hay them yet. They're doing well. Even though they're bush, they're starting to send out little runners. But I'm going to wait on haying these because we've been waiting for these green beans to start doing something pretty much the whole summer. <laughs> and they're still not doing anything. I mean, like one or two blooms. But we haven't gotten bean one off of these. So I think we're going to go ahead and pull these and go ahead and plant something else on this row because we're just wasting all this prime real estate on plants that aren't doing anything. So I'm going to wait until we pull these, plant something else before we hay this area.